Join Kids Hat Family. Hi, Phil. Hi, Tofu. Hello, Tia. Hello, Phil. Tofu, why don't you take Phil to your room and play? I'll bring you some tasty snacks in a while. Uh, yes, Phil. Let's go to my room and play. Whoa, Tofu. You've got so many toys. Can we play? Ah, uh, yes. I thought we'll go out and play football instead. We can play football too. I just want to play with your toys for a while. Mm, okay. You can play with my toys. Yay, look at the car. It's so beautiful. Is it a remote controlled car? Yes, it's a remote controlled car. My grandma gave it to me on my birthday. Can I play with it? Oh no. It doesn't have a battery. N don't touch it. Mm, okay. But Tofu, this is not fair. I will not talk to you. Why are you not letting me play with your toys? You are my friend. Phil, please, don't touch my toys. I don't like sharing my toys. Okay, Tofu, so I'm going home. This is not what friends do. My mother told me good friends always share. You are not a good friend. Bye, Tofu. Mm. Bye, Phil. Wait, Phil. Don't be upset. I will talk to Tofu. He is a very good boy. Mm, okay, Tia. Tofu, say sorry to Phil and let him play with your toys. But, Tia. These are my toys. He should play with his own toys. Tofu, do you remember when you went to Phil's birthday party? He let all of his friends play with his new toys. You played with his toys too and Phil was so happy sharing his toys with everyone. Uh, yes, I remember. Tofu, sharing is not just about giving back when someone gives you. It's about sharing to show that you care for them. No matter what, you should always be kind to everybody. You are right, Tia. I'm sorry, Phil. I realize my mistake. You can play with my toys. Really? Thank you so much, Tofu. Thank you, Tia. You're welcome, Phil. Tofu, wake up. It's time to go to school. But Tia, the school bus arrives at 8 a.m. Tofu, don't you remember? You have to go to a school picnic today. The school bus will arrive a little early today for that. School picnic? Oh, yes. I forgot about it. But can I sleep for five minutes more, Tia, please? You will miss the bus, Tofu. Come on, get up. Okay. Tofu, please hurry up. You're wasting your time. You will not be able to make it to the school picnic otherwise. I still have half an hour to catch the bus, Tia. Tofu, time management is very important to achieve things in life. Now what does that mean, Tia? I'll tell you a quick story as you get ready. Okay. Time is precious. Once upon a time, a boy named Oliver went for a hiking trip with a group of other people. Oliver wasted a lot of time and hence he missed a lot of things always. Boys, let's go or we'll miss the beautiful sunset at the top of the mountain. Yes, yes sir, let's go. Ah, uh, Coach, I need some time to get ready. You should have been ready by now, Oliver. Come back fast, we're waiting for you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Oliver, please hurry up. You're wasting your time and everybody else's time too. We can't wait for you anymore. I'm here. Let's go. Everybody is climbing the mountain while Oliver is lagging behind as he's wasting his time. Where is Oliver? I can't see him. 
coach he is resting there Oliver hurry up Oliver gets up and walks towards the group slowly Everybody starts moving too as they are assured Oliver is behind them As everybody is climbing the mountain Oliver loses track of the group again because he was wasting his time He starts panicking as he was lost He somehow finds his way and reaches the top of the mountain. But when he reaches, the sun had already set and everybody was walking down the mountain. Everybody else looked so happy as they had watched such a beautiful sunset, but Oliver starts crying as he missed it. Time is precious. It waits for no one. Once you start managing your time correctly, you will achieve a lot of beautiful things in life. That was a great story, Tia. I will manage my time and make it to the picnic. Yes, Tofu. Now come fast or you will miss your school bus. Good habits, bad habits. Hi Tia, I'm home. Hi Tofu. You know Tia, I'm so tired today. We played hockey at school. You want some water Tofu? Yes, please Tia. <coughs> tofu, is this where you keep the glass? Uh, I'm sorry Tia, I didn't notice. I'm going to my room to change. Okay, lunch is ready. Come to the dining room in half an hour. All right, Tia. Here, we have some beans for you. Thanks, Tia. So, how was school today? It was good, but I feel a little tired after the hockey match. Okay, why don't you take a nap for an hour? Yes, you are right, Tia. I think I should take a nap now. Tofu, please keep your plate in the kitchen. <sighs> I'm very sleepy, Tia. I'll see you after an hour. What's wrong with this boy? Tofu, wake up. Let me sleep for 5 minutes more, dear. Okay, enough. I will teach him a lesson now. Oh my god, dear. What have you done to the house? What a mess. Dear, please stop. What are you doing? Tia, yes tofu, what is it? Tia, will you stop doing this? What's wrong with you? You are doing the same thing too. Look at your room. It's an absolute mess. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not realize that it looked so unpleasant until I saw your belongings all over the place. It looks so messy and unorganized. I will keep my things in place now. That's what I was trying to teach you tofu. One bad habit often spoils a dozen good ones. Learn to stay organized and you yourself will feel good. Apart from that, you can adopt small good habits like holding the door open for someone, sneezing with your mouth covered, washing your hands before eating, and always keeping track of time. because once you catch hold of a bad habit it develops deeper i get it now tia i will take care of all the things that you just told me thank you for making me understand this for your favorite rhymes stories and more join kids hat family subscribe here